Hi, my name is Roger and welcome to episode 5 of How to Write a Song. Today we're going to record the song we have written in the former episodes and if you haven't seen them, maybe you should see them first. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button also. I have a vision of how I want this song to sound like, a picture in my head, so to speak, so I know what I'm aiming for when I'm recording my instruments and vocals. I'm going to do this recording both with some fancy equipment and more professional style recording, but some instruments I'm going to record very easy and very simple also, so I, can, I, I, will, I want to show you that it can be done in an easy way. And I want to start with the drums. Just a quick tour of how I record my drums. Inside the kick drum there's an AKG D112. On the outside there's a ribbon mic. On the snare drum on the top there's an SE electronic mic and on the bottom an SM57 from Shure. Just a small diaphragm condenser on the hi-hat. The toms are mic with Sennheiser E604s and I also have sort of a creative mic just put in inside of the drum kit. That's a Warm Audio 47JR or something. It's called something like that. That is a microphone I probably will compress and distort and make a sound of. I also have a couple of uh, room mics or one room mic but it's a stereo room mic. It's a stereo ribbon with a figure eight pattern. So it picks up both the back and the front the same. So I put it in the door to my drum room. And on the overhead, some Octava 012 microphones, which I really like. Let's record some drums. As you could see when I recorded my drums, I use a lot of microphones. I want the option to have them there or not in the mix. Maybe not all tracks will stay in the mix, but I want the option to have them there. Now when I'm going to record the guitars and bass, I just use a DI directly into the computer and then I use software amplifiers. If I would record the guitars and bass more professional, I would probably I would probably choose an amp and choose the pedals for the exact right sound and playability. But I want to show you that it can totally be done with your software amplifiers as well. Also later on when I I'm going to record some keyboards, they are also just a DI into the computer, no effects or anything like that. Time to record some bass. And I think I will use my Washburn bass. This one. Because it's a five string. And I will use the fifth string in the verse. The bass lays still, but very low. Therefore, the fifth string. And guitar and I'm gonna record a few guitars the first one is with this Epiphone 335 thing with humbuckers and for that guitar melody and the rest of the guitars probably I will use this Telecaster this is probably the guitar I've gigged the most with and also recorded the most
I am aware of that my face looks like I'm figuring out some really difficult math problem when I play guitar. But, yeah. Uh, time for percussion. And I want some shakers, tambourine, and uh, one more thing. And I have a few options to choose from. Uh, I've got this, but I don't think this will do. This is an old, just, can of soda. Uh, maybe. I got this studio, no. I think it'll be, be this one, because I want eighth notes in the verse. Because the drums have sixteenth notes, I want to combine it with eighth notes from a, from a shaker. I also have some options of tambourines, and I want to choose the tambourines because they sound differently from each other. I got two really bright ones. Um, nearly the same. But I think I will use these ones. These are pretty dark. And I want to record two tambourines in stereo. The tambourines I record with the ribbon mic in the room and the shaker with the SM7 that I have at my studio desk. I will also record some... Yep. We all need more cowbell, don't we? For keyboards I've used a lot of software instruments and it's easier for me to show you what I've done at the end instead of showing you what I'm doing all the time. But it's time to record some real keyboard instruments and I will record my Rhodes and I will also record my Nord Electro with some Hammond B3 sound. So let's do this. I think it's time for some vocals and I'm going to start with the background vocals and I will use my uh, Peluso 2247 for both my background vocals and my lead vocals for this song. At the end of the episode I will show you what I've recorded and the next episode I will, we will mix this song to make it sound proper. To embrace the changes that we know will last but still be nostalgic about the past. So let me show you what I've done so far. On the top of my session here is my old demo. Then we go, go down to the drums. You've already seen that. Then the percussion, bass, guitars, Rhodes, Hammond, the verse pad I split into three. So they sound like this now. It's nowhere near mixed yet, but that will come in the next episode. So there's an also a one note pad on the verse, sounds like. And we have the synth brass, as I showed you in my last episode, I just changed the sounds a little bit. This is a combination between Logic's ES2 and Arturia Jupiter something. That's about it. I recorded an upright piano with software instruments because my upright piano is out of tune. Like that. I also have some violins which I will automate when I mix them. Right now they sound like this. And so on. And also some tremolo strings. And I will make swells out of them when I mix this thing. And then I have a lead vocal, vocal harmony and some background vocals. That's about it. Thank you so much for watching. If there's something in this area, maybe it's music theory, songwriting, production, recording, that you want to see more of on this channel, please tell me in the comments. To record in Swedish is spela in, spela in. 
Until next time, Roger that. Scared night, I felt so free as one could.